Thank you, Jay. It is uh, such a great honor to be back at the port here in Little Rock for another major announcement for our city, for our region, and frankly, for the entire state of Arkansas. Alon, uh, Eve, Lisa, and Anne, thank you for being here and for choosing Little Rock as your first ever facility in the United States. I also love that you let your daughters uh, take take the lead in uh, announcing this incredible project. I might be a little biased in that, uh, but certainly uh, very glad that you are here. And we are so honored that we get to be your first host here in the United States. I think it's evident by everybody that is here at today's announcement how proud we are to have you in our state from Senator Bozeman, Judge Hyde, Mayor Scott, and so many other leaders from our government and business communities. We are all here not just to make this announcement, but to say thank you and officially welcome you to Arkansas. It's great to see multiple generations of the Fame and Phil family here for this announcement. I know a little bit about being in the family business as well. And I like to say that my dad was the best governor that Arkansas has ever had but I'm working very hard to take that title away from him every single day. And announcements like this certainly help in doing that. And I have a feeling that Lisa and Ann feel the same way about Alon and Eve. I've been lucky to get to know the Famonville family over the past few months as we've worked hard to bring this project to Arkansas. Their first trip was in June when I had the privilege of hosting Ann at the Capitol. And at the same time, our legislature was actually meeting for a special session to look at Arkansas's tax rate. There's not a better way to sell Arkansas than by walking a prospective investor around the Capitol and showing them our legislators hard at work cutting taxes in real time. A month later, I was in the UK for the Farnborough Air Show and we met with the Famonville team again. It was my first time to meet Alon and he explained more about the company their commitment to quality, their seven generations of history, and their prospects for U.S. expansion. Above everything else, Alon emphasized the company's dedication to family, not just the Famonville family itself, but the entire 1,400-person family they employ all over Europe, and soon to be the 500 new members that they will welcome here in Arkansas. We had one final meeting this past August when Alon and Eve came to Little Rock to give the final sign off on everything. We knew we wanted to do something really special to seal the deal and we had heard that Alon was a big fan of antique cars. So we arranged for Tom Brown who's somewhere here with us today to pick him up for meetings in a classic car. There's Tom. Yeah, Thank you Tom for helping us seal the deal. Not only did we give them a ride around in a classic car, we sold, we, we had them uh, taken to Wright's Barbecue, and we really think that those were the two things that gave us the edge and put us over the top. Clearly, the effort from all of the team and all of this region coming together worked. Famonville's investment here at the Port of Little Rock will be a massive expansion to what is already one of our region's main economic hubs, a hundred million dollars more than 600,000 square feet of manufacturing space and 500 new jobs for Arkansans. What a great day for Little Rock and Arkansas. <laughs> Not long ago, I had a group of professional site selectors to the governor's mansion. These are men and women who advise companies like Famonville from all over the world where to put their next big investment. And I asked them, what can Arkansas be doing better? and their response was that Arkansas needs to be louder. Arkansas is doing great work to attract business, but more people need to know about it. That means showing up, it means cutting taxes, growing our workforce, investing in education, but most importantly, letting the world know the great things that we're doing. And yes, if it comes down to it, it means getting a classic car guy for a guy, for someone who might invest $100 million in your state. They said Arkansas needs to get louder, I told them to be careful what they wish for. Never give the green light to Southerners to get loud. <laughs> we certainly will do that, and particularly about this announcement today, because we know what a big deal it is for our city and for our state. And I want to thank the many people who worked so hard to make this deal happen. The Little Rock Chamber, our mayor, the team at AEDC, Clint and Hugh, and all of the, your 
group, our county, our state, and our legislative leaders. And most importantly, thank you to Famonville for believing in Little Rock. I know that we speak, I speak for everyone when I say we're ex excited to officially be part of your family. I now have the privilege of introducing my good friend and America's favorite senator. I get to say that because I'm the speaker. And uh, I have uh, nicknamed him that. I'm going to continue saying it. But Arkansas Senior Senator John Bozeman, who has worked tirelessly with the rest of Arkansas's congressional, congressional delegation to be a champion for Arkansas on Capitol Hill. He's one of the best there is, not just in government, but anywhere that you will find. And so with that, I will turn it over to Senator Bozeman. Thank you, Governor, so much. It's so good to be with all of you. Ann and Lisa, you did a tremendous job uh, expressing yourselves. I always feel bad, though, when we have people. You're really not foreigners anymore. You're, you're part of us now. But I always feel bad when uh, people from other countries speak better English than I do. <laughs> <laughs> but we are excited to welcome you to Arkansas and host its first production site. This is a great story to share because it's our state's demonst it demonstrates our state's industrial success and future potential, which is the, t the team in Famonville clearly recognized when selecting the Port of Little Rock as home base in America. This major investment will create hundreds of new jobs for Arkansans and represent represents a very serious confidence in our workforce and business climate. That's thanks to a true team effort and hard work from local leaders, stakeholders, and industry partners over the short and long term to position our state, this region, and the Port of Little Rock specifically for these types of projects. Famonville has already found firsthand that Arkansas wants to welcome investment that creates good paying jobs and supports long and rewarding careers. We continue to develop and adapt our workforce to step into these roles. That continues to be a priority here in the state, and our congressional delegation is committed to supporting the programs and partnerships that help establish or expand them in communities throughout Arkansas. I want to especially thank the governor and her team and for the hard work that they do, their commitment to the state of Arkansas. We can talk about a lot of things, but the most important thing is being able to to have a good job and support your family. And that's really what this is all about, is bringing great jobs and great people to the state of Arkansas. So we really do appreciate your presence. Finding solutions to a variety of challenges is what defines success. And it's clear Famonville is a global leader in transport vehicles because it continues to innovate and pursue those opportunities in the marketplace. So we look forward to playing a key part in a new chapter to do just that here in our country and beyond for many years to come. Thank you and congratulations on such an incredible step forward for Famonville, this region, and the state of Arkansas. Again, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you. Hey, good morning, everyone. My name is Clint O'Neill, Executive Director of the Arkansas Economic Development Commission. Just want to add my congratulations and my, my thanks to the Famonville family. Um, and I, I just want to say I'm sorry for the time you guys had to spend looking at other states before you started <laughs> focusing in on, on Arkansas as you did this multi-state uh, location analysis. Um, you know, projects come to us in all different forms. We work very hard at AEDC to, to generate leads, to work with our community partners. Uh, this is a project that, uh, that came to us from the Little Rock Regional Chamber. I know that they were given a heads up by your partners at, at Hale uh, Distributor, Trail, uh, trail Trailer and Brake. Um, we'll, we'll take a lead anywhere we can get it. And then we put it through a process. Uh, for us, it was a relatively fast uh, project. I was just talking to Secretary McDonald about you know, some of these projects that we work 12, 24 months from beginning to end, we, we do uh, so much work to find real estate, so much work, uh, hosting site visits, all of that. Uh, really want to give a shout out to two people that were instrumental in this project, Jack Thomas from the Little Rock Regional Chamber 
and Reagan Pugh from our team at AEDC. Uh, Jack was a point person locally. Reagan was the point person at the state. Uh, Reagan, I think that you should be telling other folks on the business development team, I, I don't know what your problem is. Uh, you know, we can close these deals in, in four or five months if you just work hard enough. But, um, you know, I, I, I love a project like this, a family-owned company that, uh, that, that makes decisions by the numbers, but also makes decisions by gut feeling. Um, and so it's just a real honor that, uh, that we were able to, to be a part of this, all the small touches uh, from the very first site visit. And after that uh, dinner that we had at Samantha's and, and uh, over to the Capitol Hotel, just the conversation with you and Paul and Jack and Reagan, just, we, we just decided, man, we, we really like this family. We, we've got to win this project. And then, uh, as has been discussed, the, the lunch in, in London, you know, the second time uh, you guys came, I had just gotten back from that trip to London. I was not yet over um, jet lag. And so we're at dinner with, with Jay and with the mayor and, uh, and with Alon and, and Eve. And Alon, I remember, uh, you, you're, you're very passionate when you speak and you're very direct and I like that. And, and you said, I've never seen anything like this before. And, and I didn't really know what was coming next. I was, uh, and uh, just said that the way we've been treated around here is second to none. It, uh, it, the customer service from, from a state and from a local community. And, uh, and so it's, it's just such an honor to be a part of this. We thank you so much for this incredible investment and uh, look forward to working with you for many years to come. Thank you. Thank you.